Hello, Cypher's community, welcome back to another World Tanks Conserveil. So, in this video, it's going to be a short video because I'm going to be talking about the uh, bundles. There's a bundle in the store that is called Tank Men's Uniform, and it's 8,000 gold. And it, what it is, it gives you five 3D skins for five different tanks the T34, a tier 5 so medium tank, the KV1, a tier 5 heavy tank. The KV-85, a tier 6 Soviet heavy tank. The IS-3, a tier 8 Soviet heavy tank. And the IS-7, a tier 8, so a uh, tier 10 Soviet, Soviet heavy tank. So, in this video, I'm just going to go through the camos right quick. Remember, it's a bundle in the store called Tankman's Uniform. It's worth 8,000 gold. I don't know if you could buy these skins separate. And... Also remember the tank skins are purely cosmetic. It doesn't do anything to the tank. It doesn't mess with the armor or anything. It's purely cosmetic. So the first one we're going to be going over is the T-34. Now this is the T-34 skin. It adds a couple of things on it. I don't know if that log was there. It might have been up a little bit higher. But yeah, this is the T-34 skin. Eh, decently. Decent, nice. Now we'll go to the KV-1. Also, if you're wondering about the Bradley video I promised today, it's coming out later. I thought I would just make this short little video about the five skins. See? Also remember, this is purely cosmetic. It doesn't remove any armor from the tanks. Or add armor to the tanks. And yeah. Here's the KV-85. Now, I really wish these missile launchers on the top of the tank were actually being used. Oh, that'd be so cool. Just firing some missiles in World War II. Nicely cosmetic. It's distinctly nice. Now, we'll move on to the IS-3. Here's the IS-3. It moves a little, removes a little bit of armor right there. Remember, it's purely cosmetic. That armor is still in effect, but it, you can't see it. I'll show you in a second. It's tore up, tore up on the part. I don't know if that gun on top was actually on the tank before the 3D skin? Was it? It was. Okay, so this is what the tank was, and this is with it, with the skin. Now, to show you that the armor is still there, it still works. There's the IS-3 without it. Here's the IS-3 with it. It misses a bit of armor right there. If you go to here, the armor's there. So it's purely cosmetic. You're not losing any bits of armor. You're not gaining any armor. So, yeah. Now we move on to the IS-7. And here's the IS-7. I kind of like it. It has the gun that usually lays down, it sticks up, it's more war-torn. I kind of like it, honestly. There's some Soviet flags back there in the back. I really enjoy that gun just standing up. And probably the PC skin from, probably for the skin from PC will probably come on sooner or later. They can have multiple 3D skins per tanks. Just look at the M1. Abrams I think it is. It has like three or four. But yeah. That's pretty much it. The veil. That's it. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also remember to slap fish because we're always not. And peace out. See ya.